This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Big shout out to them for letting me capture early Madden 23 footage for you guys. Quick disclaimer, everything you are about to view is a work in progress. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys a little bit about the new skill-based passing and how to put a better pass lead on some of your passes. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go to into your settings and you can do this in the pre-game menu or in-game. And you're gonna to wanna to go to your game options. You can either choose placement accuracy, classic, or placement for your passing type. I've been messing around a little bit with this and here are my settings. I'm gonna use placement and accuracy. I'm gonna have passing slowdown off. I'm gonna have no max distance. And I'm gonna use 15 out of 20 for my reticle speed. And if you guys don't know what any of these mean, don't worry. I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys real quick. So the placement accuracy, in my opinion, is one of the better things for passing footballs. It's obviously a new addition into the game. Classic is obviously what we've been using for many years. We just hit the button and we pass lead with the analog stick. The max distance basically means how far you could, uh, you know, pass lead footballs, whether it be short, near, far, or no max distance. I prefer no max distance because I like going deep on some plays. Think of the reticle speed as sensitivity. You don't want, you know, if you don't want too fast, you don't have to put it fast. I, I would recommend starting off around like 10 and maybe working your way up. But I know some of the new young guys on the scene are gonna have this all the way up to 20 and be completely cracked out. And I highly recommend you have visible for both of these. Uh, the meter will help you, you know, visualize how hard and how fast you're throwing the ball. And the reticle visibility basically means, you know, you could see where the ball is going. All right, guys. So if I mess up a little bit, forgive me. You know, this is my first day doing this. And this is pretty tough to learn. But if you go and practice one for a little bit, you will get this down. And, you know, the beauty of it is you don't have to always use it. I'll show you a couple examples real quick. So right here, I'm just going to call verticals. And I'm not going to use a new form of passing. I'm just going to simply hit a button. And that's what makes it so good. You know, you could do either or right here. I simply pass it outside the normal and classic way. So this meter, guys, like I said, it's kind of for show at this point. I'm literally using the old way of passing. Um, just the analog stick, hitting the button that I want to throw it to and passing in it wherever way I want to use it. But where the free form passing really comes into hand is on these type of reads. Like right here, I really can't throw that up the seam like I wanted to. I obviously could wait a little bit and it would be open. But just look how I use this free form passing now to, you know, navigate my receiver and pretty much pass this up the seam. This is verticals. I'm going to kind of like move them inside. And that was just beautiful. If you ask me to where, you know, the deep half can't get me to where, you know, uh, the left safety can't get me and potentially even Fred Warner because he did just pick off that last read. So basically how I'm using this, I wish I had a controller cam guys, is I'm holding left trigger right now. I'm holding it. I'm moving it. I'm moving it as soon as I'm hitting my button. And then you got to move it slightly. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of time to get used to this. And I still, like I said, have not mastered it by any means. But, you know, I am definitely getting better. And um, I'll try to break it down one more time. And in reality, like, you may be like, okay, this isn't all that good. But, like, in, like when you could, you know, navigate passes. And this is kind of like a nice swerve. Like, let's just say there's an acrobat right here. There's a KO. I've already thrown a couple picks to Fred Warner. He's lurking. Like, he's right there, man. He could go crazy at any given moment. Um, I'm basically holding left trigger. Um, R1, I'm, I'm about to make the read, I hit R1, and with the left stick, I navigate to where I want the ball and the placement to be. So I navigate it slightly to the left with a reticle, and that kind of just, you know, playmaker type vibes, you know, pretty much just redirected the pass to where only my receiver could get it. And this could be very, very OP in certain situations. I'll try to give another example right here. Let's just say someone's running this cover two on the right sideline, and you know I'm trying to hit this outside read and I just can't do it whatsoever. The safety's there, the corner's there. With now free form passing and the new pass leads on this game, you could definitely squeeze that ball in. Um, this is first attempt. This might be a little tough because I haven't really mastered it, like I said, but boom, pass it outside. So here we go. I'm gonna hit left trigger, pass it all the way to the outside and that's how you do it right there to where my guy could only get it. And yeah, man, this is some glitchy stuff, honestly. Um, I, I'm holding left trigger. I hit my circle receiver and slightly, ever so slightly, slightly with the left analog, I'm past leading it to where I wanted to go. And with this, you know, um, it just takes time and the effort and you could be throwing some nice hot dots like this. Uh, this pass is not getting completed without the new pass lead system. When you don't make the best read, you could completely just throw it away or just throw it into the dirt. It's pretty glitchy. Right here, I'm not gonna make the best read, 
but since I have this skill based passing I could literally just throw it either way I want right here guys this is kind of like how it looks like to make a bad read I'll just like just in, throw it in the dirt pass it away and you know that's the really glitchy part about it because before if that ball is in the air you really can't do anything now you know once the ball is in the air I don't like what I see I could kind of just you know overthrow it either way I want so that's that with the new skill based passing I'm sorry if I couldn't really fully explain it um, all I know is you want gonna want to hold left trigger from the start of the play make your read and when you want to make your read you ever so slightly move the analog stick to the left to the right up or down and you could really create some nasty pass lead combos and obviously you you don't have to always use it like i said right here i'm just going to hit the normal but pass lead just like before and it was a perfect dot so you know use it when you need to uh use the normal way of passing when you need to don't really um you know go crazy with it because it is a very i wouldn't call it very difficult skill to learn but it is you know something very different it's kind of reminiscent of target passing but it's much better than target passing and that's that for the skill based passing hopefully this video made a little sense as you know like i just said I, I barely started learning this and picking it up i think i'm already on a great start and when you with practice guys you guys are going to be making some great reads and some nasty bombs out there on the field i can't wait to see what you guys cook up if you did like this video and enjoy the early madden 23 content please consider leaving a like and subscribing Till next time guys i'll catch you we signing out